Hey y'all, did you know today is National Family Day? Yes, today, September the 28th. Actually, from what I have searched, it is the fourth Monday in September. Every year is National Family Day. And a lot of these days just kind of crack me up and I kind of go on and search things, but I know there's been a lot of people posting about Daughter Day and Sundays. And, and you know what? I will celebrate my child every day of the year. And um, so, but it made me think about today being Family Day, how important family is. And I am so excited tonight that all of my children are going to be here with me tonight, and, and my mom and stepdad are going to be here before they head back to Georgia, and one of my brothers and sister-in-laws is going to be there, so it truly is going to be a family day, and it wasn't even planned that way. But are there some people in your family that you're like, I just really don't want to um, have a family day with them? And I've heard that from people before. Luckily, I am not one of them. Thank the Lord I'm blessed with all my brothers. I love them, love them, and sisters. And so, but you're not alone if you're someone that is going, I just don't know about my family member. Jesus' brothers, James specifically, comes to mind. Can you imagine? Can you imagine having Jesus as a brother, the perfect child that never did anything wrong, um, having him as a brother? And can you imagine all the civil rivalry and everything? Well, that happened. But after the resurrection, James and his brothers came around and they became believers of Jesus because they didn't believe at first and then they did. So if you've got a family member, whether you don't get along with them, or maybe it's something that um, there needs to be some forgiveness on either party, or maybe they're not a Christian, or something, whatever is causing the strife in your life with your family member, I want to encourage you to pray. Pray for them and pray for yourself. I know that whenever I've had a tiff with anyone, family, non-family, what have you, when I start praying for my own attitude and actions, things do start being noticeably turned around for me. And I pray for them, I'm sometimes kind of nitpicking and waiting to see if they're gonna change or not. When all along, it could have been me that needed the change. So. I want you to pray for your family members that maybe you have some trouble with. I want you to pray for yourself and make sure that you are getting right. Because in the Bible, he tells us that we are to make sure that we love everybody. Here's some Bible verses I want to share with you. In Proverbs 17, 17, a friend loves at all times and a relative is born um, to help in adversity. I know there's times that I am truly closer in communication at times with some of my friends. And even though they would be there for me, I know if anything happens, my blood is going to be there for me in a heartbeat, definitely. Um, Matthew 19, 19, honor your mother and your father, love your neighbor as yourself. I wanna encourage you to make sure you're loving. And speaking of that, I wrote down national Love People Day is on September 30th. That's coming up. That's my granny's birthday. She's in heaven and spending beautiful time with um, family right now. And speaking of that, one year ago today is the day that we found out that my um, fabulous father in love, Wayne Shuff, had gone on to be with Jesus. And so, as much as we are missing him here on earth, he is having a family reunion and a big family day with so many spiritual brothers and sisters um, in heaven. I can't imagine. Can you imagine what that family day is going to be like when Jesus comes back? Oh my goodness. Here's some other things. I believe that a family unit needs to be having a strong um, parent foundation in there too, and their foundation in Christ, and it all builds on one another. Um, could it help a lot of the situations in our world today, even if we had some strong family units? Well, 
It starts with in Ephesians 5.25, husbands love your wives the same as Christ loved the church and gave his life for it. In Exodus 20.12, you must honor and respect your father and your mother. Do this so that you will have a full life in the land that the Lord your God will give you. Matthew 19, 19, honor your father and your mother and love your neighbor as yourself. I think I already said that one, but you know what? You need to make sure you love. You need to love, you need to forgive, and you need to pray. And if there's anything out there, you and your family members need to get tied up and uh, making sure it's right. Why don't you start praying right now? Pray for yourself and pray for that family member. Cause on today, National Family Day, I love my family whether they are truly my physical family that I, blood family that I love, or even my spiritual family, my brothers and sisters in Christ. And speaking of fat, um, national days, tomorrow, I'm not a coffee drinker, but I know my niece Marie, if you're listening, is a big coffee drinker. Tomorrow's National Coffee Day. So enjoy your cool weather in Georgia, Marie, and with a little sip of coffee. And, um, and another day I wanted to tell y'all about this is so funny. National Chewing Gum Day. So there you go. Coming up on the 30th. Have a wonderful family day and love your loved ones. Take care. Bye.